Am I the only one who finds Bitcoin taxes confusing? Well, let's fix that. First things first, grab your form 8949. This IRS form is where you report your Bitcoin sales and transactions. Sounds complicated? It can be. But don't worry, I've got your back. Step one, list all your Bitcoin transactions. You'll need details like dates, amounts, and gains or losses. Pro tip, use a crypto tax software like CoinLedger to automate this. It saves you tons of time and headaches. Next, make sure you categorize each transaction correctly. Was it short term or long term? This matters for your tax rate. Short term is for assets held less than a year, long term for over a year. Finally, double check everything. Accuracy is key to avoiding those pesky IRS letters. Got questions about any of this? Make sure you leave a comment. I answer all my comments. And hey, if this video helped you out, please subscribe and like this video. Thanks for watching and happy tax filing.